which is called Accusation in the Mirror, which is a big part of incitement and, and lawyers and uh, others who work on question of incitement to genocide. And incitement in the mirror is, you know, basically it's this, this phrase, every accusation is a confession. But the, the, the technical term for that is accusation oh, yeah. in the know. mirror. And the reason that's so important, and you will see it in every genocide, including the genocide against the Jews, um, uh, in, in Europe, including the, the Rwanda genocide, uh, uh, the Mosbian genocide, Palestinian genocide, the, the message that they have to create is these people are coming to get you, they're coming right. to get your women, they're coming to threaten you. So right. we have to kill them first. And it is a, an absolute constant. And I have to say, Dana Bash is a pro at it, and so is Jake Tapper. It's fascinating because it's a combination of projection, right? But also justifying, it's a way to attempt to turn the victim into the victimizer, which Israel is so masterful at. And in doing so to create a justification right. for victimizing that group. Right. Uh, and, and that is what, that has been a central piece of the propaganda for genocide that Israel has been uh, providing and that these outlets have been disseminating. Just talking about this with you now, it's such a meta phenomenon we're witnessing because we're seeing the weaponization of rape to justify the genocide of Palestinians. We're also seeing the way that anti-Semitism is weaponized to whitewash what Israel is doing and what Israel's defenders are doing. So Jake Tapper's response to this is you're attacking Dana Bash because anti-Semitism, not because she is a fellow, um, like myself, Jake Tapper, complicit in this. I'm curious if he actually thinks that's true or if he's being totally cynical. Like, I'm curious if he's brainwashed. I mean, you never know, but I mean, this charge of anti-Semitism is ubiquitous. I mean, anyone, I mean, it's just, it's, it's goes without saying. I mean, anyone right. who speaks out against Israeli crimes is going to be called um, uh, an anti-Semite. And, you know, ironically, that's anti-Semitic, right? Because it's saying right. that what Israel is doing is is for, by, and on behalf of the Jewish people. Exactly. No, it's not. No, it's not.